Sri Lankan dish plates in South Korea. Sri Lankan food is not for the timid eater. The fiery curries, sweet caramelized onion in sini sambal, that is called onion relish, and sour lime pickle are all dominant powerful flavors that startle awake senses dulled by the thick hot island air. While visitors to the island or those eating in Sri Lankan restaurants outside the country may find watered down versions, most Sri Lankan cooking is unapologetically punch you in the face, get the adrenaline pumping flavored. Sri Lankan cuisine has been shaped by many historical, cultural and other factors. As a tropical island with an abundance of vegetation, the cuisine is known for its use of a vast array of herbs, spices, fish, vegetables, rices and fruits. The cuisine is highly centered around many varieties of rice, as well as coconut, which is an ubiquitous plant throughout the country. Seafood also plays a significant role in the cuisine, be it fresh fish or preserved fish. As a country that was a hub in the historic Oceanic Silk Road, contact with foreign traders brought new food items and cultural influences in addition to the local traditions of the country's ethnic groups, all of which have helped shape Sri Lankan cuisine. There are several essential ingredients in Sri Lankan cuisine. Some of them are tamarind, coriander, whole black pepper, chili powder or fresh chilies, cloves, fenugreek seeds, cumin seeds, cinnamon, curry leaves, lime, turmeric, fresh coconut, etc. On the other hand, Korean cuisine is largely based on rice vegetables, and at least in the south, meats. Traditional Korean meals are made for the number of side dishes. Commonly used ingredients include sesame oil, fermented bean paste, soy sauce, salt, garlic, ginger, pepper flakes, fermented red chilies, or chili paste, and cabbage. Sri Lankan food is a labor-intensive cuisine, as many dishes are intricate and time-consuming. Every meal comes with rice. One Sinhalese greeting translates as, have you eaten rice? A simple meal may consist of rice, sambal made with chili, pickles or chutney, and at least one vegetable curry or dal. Then there may be also a huge range of meat-based, vegetable and seafood dishes. If you love spicy flavored and hot-tempered dishes, unlike in South Korea, Sri Lankan dishes will drive your taste buds mad, 
craving for more flavors to fill your hungry stomachs faster. Thank you so much for enjoying these photos taken by myself. It's hard sometimes without these beautiful mouth flavoring textured food that I miss. Living in South Korea, the cuisine is really dull and doesn't have a bright texture. But I can say you that it is very, very healthy. I hope you saw some mouth-watering dishes that might want you to come to this small island and explore the hidden flavors. I really miss Sri Lankan cuisine and walking into a restaurant and dishing myself a really hot-tempered rice filled with colorful curries and that spicy flavors hidden in those curries. So I never forget to take a photo when I dish myself and when I cook myself living in South Korea. This photo shows some of my cooking. And before dishing, I used to take a photo, as I mentioned earlier. If you enjoy videos like this, something extraordinary, something exceptional, and some sort of an experience living in a foreign country for some time and experiencing your own country flavors made by yourself, living in that foreign country it is actually a challenge tune in to see more inspiring videos like this more life-changing videos like this more adventures that i have done in south korea and to be optimistic with your life and to take something new from my life See you with another inspiring video. Bye for now. Stay optimistic. Thank you for watching.